Welcome to the St. Paul College. Thank you all very much for coming today. The Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis, has reached across Northland to welcome you to our 2016 Senior Royal Coronation here in this beautiful St. Paul College. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the president of the college, Razul Dasmod. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, welcome to your college, welcome to St. Paul College. Uh, I was looking at one of your flyers today and it goes back from 1886 to 2016 today. That is a remarkable history. Uh, we're not, we didn't start in 1886, we started in 1910. So we're, we're almost like teenagers now. But, <laughs> but on behalf of St. Paul College, uh, I wanna welcome you to our college. Um, this is a college of our community. Uh, we serve 10,000 students here, roughly 60% diverse. Uh, diversity from 38 different countries. Um, we're a minority majority school, been ranked number one in the country twice in 2011 and 2013. Several of you, a number of you have gone to school here. We're proud to have you back here as alumnus uh, an alumni. Um, so with that said, I wanna welcome you to St. Paul College. Enjoy it, have fun, and uh, thank you for inviting me here. Thank you. Thank you to the president of the college from the SRAA, St. Paul Winter Carnival, and everyone present for your kind words of welcome. The Senior Royal Alumni Association board and members are all dedicated to preserving the 58 year history of being an important part of the St. Paul Winter Carnival legend, bringing to it the wisdom and goodwill to the citizens of the Northland. Once again, our MC for today is a man who has a long royal history with the Winter Carnival. Beginning in 1970, as a member of the King's Guard, 1977, captain, and in 1979, 1980, commander of the King's Guard. He was prime minister for the royal family in 1981. For his volunteerism with the Winter Carnival, he was presented with the cell Libido Award in 2008. We are grateful for his participation as an MC for several of our senior coronation ceremonies. We are pleased that he has agreed to do this again. Please welcome Mr. David Larson. Thank you, Roger, for that kind introduction. It is my pleasure and honor to be the Master of Ceremonies for the 2016 Senior Royalty Alumni Ceremonies. Let us begin. Northern lights radiate across the skies, bringing us a spirit of joy to everyone in the Northland. Many kings, queens, and loyal subjects have come here today. Let us welcome them in the same spirit of joy. Please stand when you are recognized. From the St. Paul Festival and Heritage Foundation, proud producers of the St. Paul Winter Carnival and our co-sponsor, the President and CEO, Roseanne Bump, board and staff members. <laughs> From our sister city of Minneapolis, the 2015 Aquatennial Senior Royal Court. The Aquatennial... <laughs> The Aquatennial Senior Alumni Association President, Mr. Bob Clark, Commodore Steve Peterson, Vice Commodore Doug Derland, Princess Deborah Hess, Queen Kay Boland. Thank you very much for attending. And we have here from the St. Louis Park, Parktacular, Senior Ambassador Jackie and Greg Kyle. And from Woodbury, senior, the senior queen, Kathy. Yeah. 
We also welcome and recognize royalty from our other various St. Paul festivals. If you are here in attendance, please stand. Without their dedication to the Winter Carnival and Senior Royalty Program, we would not be here today. Please stand and take a bow, all Senior Royalty alumni. Thank you for the many wonderful years you have given us. We are especially honored to have King Boreas and his royal family with us here today. Later in our program, we'll have them come on our stage. At this time, we'll give you three hail the king, hail Boreas, and three hail the queen. Hail Boreas! Hail Boreas! Hail Boreas! Hail the queen! Hail the queen! Hail the queen! Thank you. Are there any Vulcans here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Thank you for being here and a part of our senior royal court, but uh, keep, the, uh, keep the lid on the, uh, on the hot weather until after February 6th. Have I missed anyone? Hmm, let's see. Uh, hmm, of course. Where is the 2015 senior royal court? I saw them earlier. They're here someplace. Well, hi, everybody. Lou Michaels, better known as King Winter the 57th. Who would ever think a kid from Detroit, yours truly, Lou Michaels, ending up as King Winter the 57th? Why this all happened was I had the opportunity back when I was about 10 years old to see the Today Show with Dave Garraway. And Dave and his whole crew happened to uh, spend a wonderful, cold winter in Minneapolis and St. Paul at the St. Paul Winter Carnival. And as I was sitting there, my grandma said to me, or I said to her, wouldn't this be a great experience, a kid from Detroit ending up as, as a king or as a prince or as a prime minister? Well, my dream came through. I had the opportunity twice to represent the senior royalty as prime minister, and now as King Winner the 57th. And my wonderful royal court, starting off with the Queen of the Northlands, Lee Shovel. Also, our lady-in-waiting, Marilyn Taylor. My prince, Willie Taylor Sr. My princess, Grace Smith. And our advisors, Frank Gurney, who also was my prime minister this year, Jackie Whitmer and uh, Colleen Charles. What a great time for a young man at that time saying somewhere down the line, I hope I can be a part of the Winter Carnival. And it, my, my dream did come true. And I've had three wonderful queens, Peggy Ann Fang in 2010, 2013, Jackie Whitner, and of course my queen this year, Lee Shovel. And all in all, it's been a great ride for me. And I wish the incoming 2016 Royal Court all the pleasures, all the loves, and all the things to be done. From that, King Winner, I bless all of you and have a wonderful day, everybody. Hello from the 2015 Queen of the Northlands. It has been a wonderful year, full of commitment and joy and new things. Working with King Lou, my king, Marilyn, Willie, and Grace has been a marvelous experience. I'm proud to be queen of the most diverse court ever. Since the SRAA is now fully engaged and sole sponsor of the Senior Royal Court, we have introduced Owl Buttons, our first annual fundraiser, and forged much closer links to the Winter, Car Winter Carnival Boreas family. Thank you to Dan, Crystal, Carolyn, and all the others, and especially to Tim and Sarah of the Royal Guard for introducing us during the parades. I am so grateful to have been chosen queen during this transition. The juniors were also very special to us. Thank you, girls. 
What does it mean to be the senior queen? You join a very small, special group of seniors. If you think of the population of the Twin Cities, say 2 million, there have been only 57, and those living is half that. It is indeed a great honor that only a rare few receive to serve the senior population in this way. During 2015, we made 30 parades, knighted 55 people, and enjoyed each other's company and had a great time. To my successor, I wish a very happy year of service and joy in all your appearances. You are being given a very special opportunity to share with some really wonderful committed people. And special thanks to Jackie, Frank, and Colleen, our advisors, for all of your great help. I will cherish my many memories. Thank you so much. I am Marilyn Ance Taylor, the 2015 St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Royalty Lady in Waiting. On October of 2014, at our monthly Sabathne AARP meeting, I met two ladies, Miss Jacqueline and Miss Gwendolyn, members of the St. Paul Senior Royalty Ambassadors Association. They told me if I loved meeting people and traveling, the St. Paul Winter Carnival program was for me. So I followed their enthusiasm and applied for the St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Royalty Festival character. Now this is all history. I had never been in a parade. I had seen many, but for me, in January 2015, I was in a horse-drawn carriage. That will stay with me for the rest of my life that experience with the St. Paul Winter Carnival. I thank you, the 2015 judges, and the people along the parade routes. I thank you, the peace people in the homes we visited to make their days. And I want to thank especially my husband, Willie Taylor Sr., the Prince of the Four Winds, for his support and his encouragement and going along with the program. He didn't want to do this at first, but I think he enjoyed this out. So now I thank everyone in St. Paul for this wonderful experience that I've had during the year 2015. Good evening. My name is Willie Taylor Sr., Prince of the Four Winds of the St. Paul Winter Carnival Senior Royalty. I'm proud to be here this evening. So much happened to me this past year that I don't know where to start. First of all, giving honor to God, who is the head of my life, who made it possible for me to be here. It all started at an AARP meeting where these two ladies, Jackie and Gwen, were there making a presentation of the St. Paul Winter Carnival. They told us how much fun it would be being part of it. They said, sign up and watch the fun begin. Well, I followed my wife's advice and signed up. It was good advice because I had a good time. I enjoyed meeting people, all kinds of people, important people, old people, Young people, I enjoyed being with my court. I enjoyed the parades and taking pictures with other courts and Boris's court. Thank you, judges, for giving me the opportunity to do this. Thank you, and goodbye. Hi, I'm Grace T. Andrew F. Smith. I'm you pick. And I'm from Pitkiss Point, Alaska. I have been chosen as the Princess of the Four Winds uh, Winter Carnival Senior Royalty. It was an honor to be picked. And I have met a family that I thought I ever knew. It was the best year. The year of enjoying 
time together with them and to be able to laugh and enjoy the scenery with them. I enjoy Lou when he's telling jokes and telling poetry. He is quite a guy and very easy to get along with. With Lee, she's got the knack of the wisdom to know how to take care of things and do it with gentleness and concern. And when we get together, I can tell that things have worked out. And with William, with Willie and Marilyn, I love watching them dancing when the music comes on because it's so beautiful to watch them too. And you can see the love that they have. The best part is I enjoy the winter carnival and to be with the new family I have gotten and learn how to love. Thank you very much for this opportunity to enjoy myself and be part of history in the Winter Carnival of Senior Royalty. The Senior Royalty alumni would like to thank Frank Gurney for stepping in as substitute Prime Minister 2015. Thank you, Frank. Hail the 2015 Senior Royal Court. Let us stand and applaud their successful reigns. Curtain open, please. King Winter has continued the time-honored tradition of sending loyal alumni subjects in search of worthy successor to the throne. At this time, these hopeful candidates will be introduced to you. Before doing, however, please allow me to introduce to you our distinguished panel of judges. Please stand and be recognized. Chief Judge Judy Holmquist from the Minneapolis Senior Aquitennial. <laughs> Shelley Kowalchuk from the Woodbury Royalty. <laughs> Marilyn Anderson from St. Paul Senior Royalty. <laughs> and we had to get a Vulcan in there too. Guadalupe Lopez, Senior Royalty and Vulcan family member. <laughs> and Brad Semlick, Commander of the Royal Guard. Hildegard. On behalf of the senior royalty alumni officers and members, please accept our sincere appreciation for fulfilling your important role in the selection process of our new monarchs. And now let's meet our excited candidates and their escorts. The candidates will be introduced in alphabetical order. Please step forward. Frank Gurney, escorted by his wife, Sharon. Frank was born and raised in St. Paul. He graduated from Mechanic Arts High School and served four years in the United States Marine Corps. He is married to his escort, Sharon. They have seven children and 16 grandchildren. One of their sons, Steve, was a Vulcan in 2009. Frank has been a part of the senior royalty program since he was a prime minister in 2012. He has been very active on the alumni board for two terms. As a mentor to the recent senior royalty court, he assists with their many events and parades. Maternity of Mary and School also volunteer, are members of his, uh, his association and he donates a lot of volunteer work there. Frank is a retired electrician. He has donated 600 hours of his time and talent to light up three winter carnival ice palaces. Joanne Johnson, escorted by Pete Cagle, King Winter 2012. <laughs> J. 
Joanne was Princess of the Four Winds with the Senior Royalty in 2010. She sings in her church choir as well as with the Senior's Golden Melody Makers. Her work experiences include Assistant Business Administrator in Human Services, a cashier in food prep in hospitals and nursing homes. Joanne also earned a certificate in cosmetology. She enjoys travel, going to, to the casinos, working in her garden, and going to bake and craft festivals. Tamara Michaels, escorted by John Montour, King Winter, 1990. Tamara is originally from Chicago, Illinois, but has lived in Minnesota for 30 years. Tamara has a variety of sales positions during her, her career. She is passionate about children and their futures. As a foster parent for 10 years, she raised 15 teenage boys. Now that is a challenge. <laughs> for 23 years, she was a host site coordinator for Fair For All and served as president of the Minnesota Clockmakers Guild. Today, she still continues to be involved as a volunteer with the Jewish Community Action, the Odd Fellows, and the Kiwanis. Tamara is married to Lou, the photo guy. Dan Munson, escorted by his daughter, Lori Schultz. Dan says he is fun-loving, friendly, and considers himself a St. Paul boy. He is also a proud veteran, having served for four years in the Navy Submarine Service. For years, he worked in the pet industry. He owned both big and small pet stores. Because of his special love for tropical fish, he is called Fishman Dan. <laughs> in 2015, he was part of a bell choir that took first place in the National Veterans Creative Arts Festival. He is currently taking lessons to learn how to play the xylophone. Dan is a man of faith. He loves to study the Bible, live by what it says, and help others. Last year, he was a caretaker for his aunt. The St. Paul Cathedral is his spiritual home where he is a Grand Knight of the Cathedral Council of the Knights of Columbus. Cindy Thrasher, escorted by her brother Randy. Cindy worked at our Minnesota State Fair for 49 years. For 29 years, she also volunteered with the Salvation Army as a bell ringer. Currently, she is a retired school bus driver and is taking classes to obtain her degree in paralegal. She also finds time to make winter hats and scarves for visitors to the neighborhood food shelves. Cindy was also the 2014 Princess of the Four Winds. There are many more potential future Winter Carnival candidates from her family as she has five older sisters and six younger brothers. Diane Weinberger. <laughs> Escorted very gingerly by her husband, Don. <laughs> Diane has been married for 37 years. She has three adult children and 10 grandchildren. Her family is very important to her and she strives to be a great role model. For 30 years, she worked in credit and collections and is currently the credit manager for Johnson Plastics in Bloomington, Minnesota. She and her husband has presented more than 100 weekends in a peer ministry called Retro V. They are also Eucharistic ministers at their church. A fun fact, for her 50th birthday, Diane actually got to pilot a real airplane. Oh, all right. Diane had been excited about the Winter Carnival since she was a child and is thrilled to be a candidate for the senior royalty. You may now take your seats. Please try to relax and enjoy the program.
Sitting at the grand piano with a lady of many of you known for her 35 works with St. Paul Parks and Recreation, who dedicated the senior royalty programs and is the current director of the Golden Melody Makers. Mary Livingston, oh, let's, all right. We're gonna wait for later, but this is a good time. A little, little bit more history about Mary here. Mary earned a Bachelor of Arts in Music Education from McAllister College. She uses her music skills, leads sing-along for people with dis development disabilities, is a choir director, community musician, and as a certified music, pra music practitioner, plays therapeutic music. Today, Mary is going to entertain us with festive mu music to complement the flair and beauty of our northern lights and with a keyboard selection. Tell us about the music you'll play, Mary. I've chosen a piece that fits this occasion and the whole idea of Winter Carnival. It's a theme and variations on Home Sweet Home. And you might ask, how does this fit Winter Carnival? Uh, well, St. Paul is the home of Winter Carnival, and the individuals who are chosen will be the new senior royalty that represent their new hometown. And the variations depict the many types of events, moods, seasons, and activities in which they will participate during their reign. And I found this piece in a book that was published in 1886, which was the year of the first Winter Carnival.
Thank you, thank you, Mary. It is no longer a myth. You have proven to us that you are indeed a woman of many wonderful talents, and we appreciate having you here and gracing us with your music. Thank you. During the year 2015, the Senior Alumni Association membership decreased by seven members. In memory, Gwendolyn Jefferson, the Senior Royalty Alumni Association chaplain, will announce their names, followed by harp strings and a Scottish piece called Farewell. In memory, we first think of Dale Conroy, 1995, Prince of the Four Winds, and 2001, Prime Minister. George Dixon, 1998, 2000, 2002, Prince of the Four Winds. Rocky Fanjoy, 2007, Prince of the Four Winds. Vivian Hoff, 1996, Lady in Waiting. Robert Nihilus, 2001, Prince of the Four Winds. Bill Sametana, 1984, Prince of the Four Winds. And James Dayfield, 2006, Prince of the Four Winds. May their souls and all the souls of the faithfully departed rest in peace. At this time, would the 2016 Queen of the Snows candidates please form your icicle honor guard to welcome the mighty monarch of ice and snow, King Boreas and his royal family. It is my distinct pleasure to, to introduce Her Excellency Carolyn Blakey from the Royal House of Hammernooks Decorating in Avalon, the 2015 Prime Minister of the Royal Family of the St. Paul Winter Carnival. Well, good 
afternoon, and thank you for inviting us to this occasion. At this time, I would like to introduce to you the members of the 2015 Royal Family, beginning with our loyal protectors. Captain, assemble the guards. We have our Captain of the Guard from the Royal House of LCS Company, Captain Dan Moran. Our Sergeant of the Guard from the Royal House of Guardian Pest Solutions, Grand Spectacle and Long's Auto Place, Sergeant Sarah Gartner. Our Nighting Pillow Guard from the Royal House of McDonald's of Woodbury and All Inc., Keith Morris. Our Nighting Metal Box Guard from the Royal House of Twin City Hyde and Flowerama, Minneapolis, 612flowers.com, Tim Decker. <laughs> Boreas has four brothers, beginning with the blustery North Wind Prince from the Royal House of the Bungalow Restaurant of Lakeland, Dan Lindsay. <laughs> escorts the cool and frosty Northwind Princess from the Royal House of FFP Wealth Management, Dana Schaffner. We have our mysterious East Wind Prince from the Royal House of Great Clips and Ideal Printers, David Metternock. The mischievous East Wind Princess from the Royal House of Ainsley Shea Communications, Caitlin Stennerson. We have the bountiful West Wind Prince from the Royal House of Hepner's Auto Body and Weinhagen Tire Company, Christian Weinhagen. The fun loving horse girl, our West Wind Princess from the Royal House of LCS Company, Shelby Edmondson. We have the balmy, red hot South Wind Prince from the Royal House of Higher Standards, B52 Burgers and Brew, Fury Motors, and Jersey's Bar and Grill, Jesse Abbott. Olay! He escorts the hot and spicy South Wind Princess from the Royal House of Ideal Printers, Leah Whipperling. We have our sassy mistress of merriment and entertainment, Klondike Kate 2014. <laughs> Kathy Weston. And we have our 2015 Klondike Kate, Shelly Brown. The newest member joining the Kate Sisterhood. 2016 Klondike Kate, Teresa McConnon. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the mighty monarch of ice and snow from the Royal House of Spire Credit Union, Boreas Rec 79, Daniel E. Stoltz. so proud and privileged senior royalty to be here at the year coordination really afternoon. I am without my queen here today, so I'm doing this a little bit solo. But again, it's been a privilege and honor to really work with the senior court this year. First of all, I just want to say a, a special thanks to Lou, King Winter, the 57. Can we get his partner to short look? <laughs> you know, you have been an absolute phenomenal queen. Let's give this guy another round of applause. but now I call him as a personal friend. So again, hail to you, my friend. Can I say something to you, sir? Well, sure. Hail to you, Warriors the 79th, as the coolest celebration continues. God bless you, my friend.
like to say thank you to Lee, the Queen of the Northlands. She has done such a fantastic job. Would you come forward? Yes. Okay, let's give her a round of applause. together. It's the junior court, the senior court, and the winter carnival. So again, there's been a real special bond this year between the royal family and the senior court. It's been like none other, and we absolutely love this group. And again, we are a royal cast together. So, as Boreas, knowing that we had this day, we're going to say, depart from this official role. I have some roses that we'd like to present to them. So, Sergeant, would you please deliver it to the court, please? We love you. Let's give them another round of applause. What I'd like to do at this time is call, uh, call forward our East Wind Princess, Caitlin, to say a few words. Well, like Gloria said, we're so honored to be here tonight to celebrate the senior royalty. It's awesome to have you guys be a part of the St. Paul Festival and Heritage Foundation now and for us to be able to have such a close bond uh, with these five behind us and with all of you that have served in senior royalty capacity. So I'd like to say a special thank you to Lee and Lou and Willie and Marilyn and Grace for their dedication this past year. You know, Winter Carnival is really a second job for a lot of people, and so it's been great for them to pour their heart and soul. Um, sometimes it's your full-time job, right? But it's been great for them to be able to pour their heart and soul into our organization, for us to get to know them and to learn from them and from their wisdom and their fun and all the celebration that they bring to us. So thank you again to you five for everything that you've done this year to make our year so special. And thank you so much to all of you for being here to support the new court and to uh, cheer off our outgoing court here. So thank you. is really about four very, very quick things. Number one, it's about building community. This royal family behind me, my royal family, I'm so proud of them. We have made, over this year, we have made over 350 appearances, and we've been in 54 parades, and we've knighted over 14,000 people. So could you give my family a round of applause? Yeah. talk about that all the time. We wanted to be net givers, not net takers. And that's what life is truly about. Real leaders are those that are go-getters and go-givers. Number two, you know, Winter Carol is about having good fun and good frolic. So we brought a smile to your face here this afternoon. You know what? We did our job. Number three, every royal family has a quote or a mantra. Our quote or our theme this year is to chase your dreams. You know, Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. Whether you're five years old or 105, we all have dreams. So wherever we've gone, we've told people to take the tea out of cans. If you want your dream to work, you need teamwork. You need people to surround yourself to really bring that dream together. We're dreamers. We know the senior quarter of dreamers. We knew they know the candidates are, but we're all dreamers. So again, keep chasing your dreams. Lastly, number four, the Winter Carnival, my most very favorite thing is recognizing special subjects in the realm of Boreas that do really special things. It's a way to say thank you. So we do that through a naming process. We have two nightings, so I'm going to call my pillow guard to please come forward. <coughs> Prime Minister has some names. If you hear your names, please step forward. Randy Berger, Tom Smith, Russell Dasmood, David Larson. Let's hear for these. All right. <laughs>
Thurston and with volunteers as MC, you're always on the scene. Your spirit and enthusiasm shine brightly and reign supreme. Let's hear it for him. <laughs> rights, responsibilities, appurtenances, and legitimate, there to belonging, or by law in any wise appertaining, or the full term of our reign. In testimony whereof, we have hereunto set our hand, and caused the great seal of our religion to be affixed in the city of St. Paul, Minnesota, our right royal winter capital, this 22nd day of January, in the year of our Lord, 2016. Signed, Boris Rex 79, Daniel E. Stokes. Frank Gurney, Joanne Johnson, Tamara Michaels, Dan Munson, Cindy Trasher, Thrasher, excuse me, Diane Weinberger. Let's hear it, please. Yes. Joanne Johnson, Tamara Michaels, Dan Munson, Cindy Thrasher, Diane Weinberger, 2016 candidates for St. Paul Winter Carnival Royalty Team, wishing you good luck on the candidacy scene. Let's hear it for these people. <laughs> Mistress of Fun, Vocals and Realm of Gloria, second to none, the 2015 Fonda Kate. Let's get up for Shelly Brown. <laughs> Thank you. And if the royal family would part so that the senior royalty can see, because I spent so much time with these people, I have a song for both you and the lucky candidates. Because 2015 was a very good year, right? And as I announced at the coronation last year, it's the year I became a senior citizen. <laughs> so here goes. When I was 56, it was a very good year. It was a very good year for hanging with royals and being their Kate. They treated me great. We took lots of pics. 
when I was 56. So now our year is done, and we're passing our crowns. Oh yes, we're passing our crowns to fresh new royals who'll do us all proud. We'll watch from the crowd and remember the past and how our year went so fast. Thank you. Now, my reign as Kate ended about a week ago. We have a brand new Klondike Kate from 2016. Her name is Teresa McConnell, and I'm sure she'd like to salute the new <laughs> candidates and the outgoings. Thank you, Shelley. I just want to say that I'm very honored to be the new Klondike Kate. I hope I do the city well. Uh, I love St. Paul, so I can't think of anything better to do. So, in that, I will sing you a song about St. Paul. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. St. Paul, Minnesota, just a little east of South Dakota, just the kind of place you want to go to and chase all your troubles away. By the Mississippi, in the wintertime it's kind of nippy, still you're going to have to bet your bippy that St. Paul's pretty grand. Oh, I forgot the verse. Oh. The St. Paul Winter Carnival is surely here to stay. And the Klondike Cates are here to show you a good time every day. St. Paul, Minnesota, just a little east of South Dakota. Just the kind of place you want to go to and chase all your troubles away. Bye-bye. By the Mississippi, in the wintertime it's kind of nippy. Still you're going to have to bet your bippy that St. Paul's pretty grand. That St. Paul's pretty grand. At this time, I would also like to acknowledge the Prime Minister, Amy Mousy from 2016, and Northwind Prince, Joe Gallagher. They will be a part of Teresa, the Klondike Kate 2016, her royal family. I'm gonna take a sentimental journey, gonna set my heart at ease. I'm gonna take a sentimental journey to renew old memories. I got my bags, I got my bags, I got my reservation. I spent each time I could afford. And like a child in wild anticipation, I long to hear that all aboard. takes me back. I never thought my heart could be so yearning. Why did I decide to roam? Gonna take a sentimental journey, a sentimental journey. We're going, we're going to ask you to remain on stage for a minute, Boreas. We're going to ask you to remain on stage with you. Thank you. The Senior Royalty 2013 Prince of the War Four Winds has composed a song benefiting the Royal Company present here on stage. Randy Berger will now perform for us. Let's listen and have fun with the message of his song entitled, Only in St. Paul. <laughs>
only in St. Paul. You have a parade in freezing weather. You dig through the snow for a frozen treasure. You make ice sculptures out of big ice blocks. Only in St. Paul. Fun for us all. Only in St. Paul. The water ski on a nice cold lake. People complain when the snow dissipates. You have to buy sculptures set all over the place. Only in St. Paul. Fun for us all. Minneapolis has a different plan. They worship the sun, they all get a tan. They go into the water when they out of, but in St. Paul, they play snow softball. Only in St. Paul. They have a fishing counter down a frozen lake. A buck, some woman is your Klondike cake. High school bands freeze their horns to their face. Only in St. Paul. Fun for us all. Minneapolis has a different plan. They worship the sun, they all get a tan. They go into the water when they ought to, but in St. Paul. Play snow softball. Only in St. Paul. The red dress men chase single women. Snowmobile races on a lake are given. Christmas won't end until winter's been beaten. Only in St. Paul. Fun for us all, only in St. Paul. Fun for us all. Maybe he would ask me to sing. The only singer in my family is our sewing machine. <laughs> Captain, lead us out. throne room of the court. Please, everyone, return to your seats. I guess we are. <laughs> Here to act as the Lord High Chamberlain of the court is a leader of the peacekeeping officers in the northern realm. Mary Laminen, please escort Chief of Police Sir Tom Smith to the podium. Chief Smith will now assist us in revealing the names of our 2016 Senior Royalty Court. Chief Judge Judy, may we say Ju Judge Judy? <laughs> Judge Judy. <laughs> Chief Judge Judy Holmcrest, please bring forth scrolls containing the official decrees. Candidates, please come forward.
Helping us with our coronation ceremony today are newly crowned junior royalty. Please come forward so I can introduce you to everybody. The Princess of Ice, Sophia Hammond. And the Princess of Snow, Lindsay Chice. Sir Chamberlain, please read the first scroll revealing the name of King Winter the 58th. Hear ye, hear ye, citizens of the Northland. The Royal Court of Honorable Judges, appointed by the Senior Royalty Alumni Association, hereby decree. Frank Wernie, King Winter the 58th. Who will be the 2016 Prime Minister? Sir Lord Chamberlain, please read the scroll. Hear ye, hear ye, citizens of the Northland. The Royal Court of Honorable Judges, appointed by the Senior Royalty Alumni Association, hereby decree Dan Munson, 2016 Prime Minister. <laughs> Senior Royalty Prime Minister Dan Munson. No court is complete without the Royal Ladies. Chief Smith, fulfill your royal duties. Proclaim the name of our Lady in Waiting. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye, citizens of the Northland. The Royal Court of Honorable Judges, appointed by the Senior Royalty Alumni Association, hereby decree Tamara Michaels, 2016 Lady in Waiting. <laughs> Chief Smith, Lord High Chamberlain of the Court, King Winter the 58th is eager to meet his Queen of the Northlands. Read the last scroll, please. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye, citizens of the Northland. The Royal Court of Honorable Judges, appointed by the Senior Royalty Alumni Association, hereby decree Diane Weinberger, 2016, Queen of the Northland.
Be seated, please. And now, Chief Smith, please read the official decree stating all the rights and responsibilities of the new court standing before us. And I shall do that, but don't they look great? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we bestow upon the 2016 court all the rights, responsibilities, dignity, and delights of the reign beginning this date, January 22, 2016. Hail the 2016 Senior Royalty Court. And now before we close, thank you everyone for being witnesses to our royal event as you enjoy the coolest celebration on earth. And we just want to wish the Queen of Snows candidates who helped us out so much today, good luck in your endeavors here, and thank you so much for being part of the program. We have a few people that we'd like to thank before departing. First of all, thank you, Dave Larson. As always, he did a fantastic job. We'd like to thank Lori and Lorraine, the pages that have been doing this for years and years. Would you please stand up? We want to honor you and thank you for bringing the capes today. If you didn't get a chance to look at it, the capes are on display as you entered the auditorium or the theater. So, um, Also, a special thank you to SPNN. They've been fantastic to work with for the last couple years, and we really appreciate everything they did for us. We want to thank Darren Johnson for being the photographer. He's always here. He's been doing a great job. Also, we want to thank St. Paul College for this great theater. Appreciate it. And everyone present who helped with this celebration today, thank you very much. We really appreciate everything you did. Thank you again, everyone, for coming. It's been a great performance. Thank you so much. Thank you.